This man-made duck pond doesn't look like much of a hospital, but for these guys, it's where they'll become healthy again before going back to the wilds. Here at the Burnaby Wildlife Association, it's all thanks to the staff and volunteers who make it happen, despite lacking equipment that would help make their jobs easier. An x-ray facility would be something that, you know, would be totally beneficial to us, but we just don't have the funding for it at the moment. Wildlife rehabilitator Marcy Potter says they rely on private donations because they aren't backed by the government. I don't think their priorities are the same as ours, so right now at least we've got our fabulous donors. And a lack of financial support from the government isn't the only issue here either. Animal cruelty keeps caging birds like these and Potter says it needs to stop. You would think it's common sense not to hurt an animal, um, but it's obviously not. And so we just need to get the word out that, you know, animals have feelings. They suffer tremendously at the hands of some people. Um, if you do know anybody that is abusing an animal, you want to call the SPCA. They have a cruelty report line and it's, it can be completely anonymous. Um, and they are very good at taking care of following up on that. Through their work with birds, skunks and more, the Wildlife Association's dedication to furry friends will continue on. Whether or not they receive apathy from the government, humans and the environment. Brenna Temple in Burnaby for BCIT Magazine.